This one is on uh, gscan to pdf It's a scanning program that can do more than just scan. So I'm going to cover some of those basics. And uh, the main thing I want to cover in here is uh, it has an OCR in process that you can do with uh, Tezzerac as the engine. So let me show you uh, gscan here. Oh, my scanner is not working so if you actually scan it will do the scanning but uh, um, you know th there's no device here. So let me show you the screenshot of what it says. Basically, uh, you have an option here of doing uh, post uh, processing that uh, I'll show you in a minute. But let's say you have your image is scanned it and uh, now you're going to import it. Right? So let's say you import some images. Uh, let's say three of them only. And you have three of them. Uh, what you can do in here is actually, you know, combine these images into a PDF if you like. Uh, so let's go to file save and I do have PDF okay uh, and if it's too big or something you can actually down uh, you know change the DPI of it if you like wouldn't really recommend that but you can do that but let's say uh, you save this all the pages in our desktop and let's call this A AA or something and there you go that's a PDF um, you know I heard PDF have a lot of freaking exploits and biases now that um, if you want to change it to something else like uh, DJVU or maybe Postscript um, you can do that but here they only have is uh, DJVU files I would say the DJVU is better than PDF because it's smaller and it's the same quality in my opinion so if I save this, I'll show you the size difference too. It's kind of like the MP3s to Wave. Um, if you want to compare it to that, okay. But let me show you here. So the PDF is about, let me see, 2.1 megabytes, right? For three pages. Um, how about this one? Look at that, that's like one third of the size. And let me show you how it looks like. So this is the PDF. Alright, let me see, uh, fit to width. Alright, there you go. Not a big deal. That's what it looks like. And the DJVU. Uh, look at that. Same same type of quality and like one third of the size. So it, it looks, you know, almost the same right now, but if you have a bigger file, like a, a book kind of thing, you'll see the, the difference really clear. All right, so just want to mention that if you want to get rid of uh, your PDF crap, or just if you don't like Adobe, that's another way you can go. Um, uh, let's get on to the other ones you can do in here. You can actually crop some of these. Let me show you. So if you go to crop here, you can you know tell it to. Uh, you have to use this tool up here to select. And you can crop out the other part that you want only. Not a big deal, but you can do that. All right, and then you click the refresh, and you see it back normal. The other one probably is negate. You might be useful to you, but they'll turn the white to black and black to white. Right here. But uh, that's that's really all I would uh, recommend that you try it out. And you can import it to GIMP and edit in there if you like. Clean up, I don't really recommend, but let's get on to the OCR process that you can do. So, let me select all these pages here and we're gonna do OCR. Um, the engine I would recommend is Tezzerac, the, the other one's not that good. Uh, GOCR, not very good. Tezzerac is what you want to use, and they do have some different language, uh, Germany or English. It depends what uh, you know you're trying to extract from, from the page. So if you, you if you have like a German book or something, then you use German. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go all and then do the OCR process. Uh, this one is mainly I would recommend is for um, you know books th that just have plain text. That's it. You know, black and white text only. No color uh, graphics or anything like that. Uh, that's what I recommend. And it depends on your source too. You know, if you have a crappy uh, scanner or you don't have a high DPI or it's too dark or too small then um, it's not gonna you know come out very well 
so it depends on those factors too how well you scan it in so do we have this image here let me zoom in on here what is this alright so this is the one that I scanned it um, so it says to those who remain engaged in less complicated substances patterns blah 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 and it goes on to this darker portion which is going to be harder to uh, recognize because it's dark part and you can see that it reflects that here so you see how it says it has all those the first word and then when it gets to the end to the dark part it, it gets messed up right here right so it depends how well you scanned it and let's try some other page here so this is a similar thing the dark part is around this area and you can see at the beginning it suffers because of that but at the end it's uh, you know it recognizes those words because it's clear here uh, how about this one it's basically the same thing here right we have uh, the clear part here uh, and look at this one came out pretty well look at that pretty much the same thing uh, so that's that just depends on you know how well uh, you scan it and uh, how well the lighting was but generally that's how you would OCR and this is mainly for text I said okay text only another way is to uh, I'll show you the other way uh, another time but you can actually um, leave the image like this and uh, you make your uh, PDF searchable uh, which I'll show you another time anyways uh, how would you install this uh, head to your synaptic package manager or whatever package manager you use and look for gscan to PDF alright this is the one you want for the graphical right and the back end engine is Tesseract uh, and you have different languages here okay so it depends what, what, what you have but they got Vietnamese, uh, Spanish, Frenchy, Dutch, uh, English, Germany, Italian, Brazilian, Portuguese, um, German, Frank 2 I don't know what that is but if you have that you can install it and you know change your language uh, when you do the OCR process so that's it for this